Hello, my name is Nguyen Thi Bích Hạnh. I work in National Hospital of Pediatrics in Vietnam. Now I'd like to introduce our research. Fraction inhaler nitric oxide a biomarker of airway inflammation in asthma. The measurement of inhaler nitric oxide is utilized to assist in the diagnosis and treatment of children with asthma, especially for those treated with inhaler corticosteroid. However, the correlation between fraction inhaler nitric oxide and clinical biological phenotype of children with asthma has been studied in Vietnam. So we do our research with the end. Evaluated the correlation between inhaler nitrate of sign and atropic status, blood eosinophil level, FCER2 genes mutation, and asthma control. It was a prospective and descriptive study. All children with uncontrolled asthma from 6 to 7 years was included. History atrophy, physical examination, skin pre-test, car blood cells, lung function, inhaler nitric oxide and FCER2 genes was recorded to analyze. Patient was controlled by inhaler corticosteroid as sambutamol as needed. They was followed up at three months to evaluate clinical status, uh, fraction inhaler nitric oxide level, asthma control test. And the result of our study so that 42 children with a mean age 10 years include the mean concentration of inhaler nitrate oxide was 26 parts per billion, above the upper limit of normal range for healthy children. The result also told that the level of the inhaler nitrate oxide in moderate asthma was significantly higher than in my asthma. Inhaler nitrate oxide significantly higher in patients with a positive skin prick test for respiratory allergen with P less than 0.05. And the result of our study demonstrated that there was moderate and significant correlation between inhaler nitrate oxide and block eosinophil. FCER2 genes coding for low affinity EGE receptor has been investigated for association with ICR response and asthma severity. In the result of our study, 5 of the 32 patients has a mutation FCER2 genes, that is a homozygous variant CC. Interestingly, in this group, the level of inhaler nitrate oxide was highest in 37 parts per billion. In our research, we see the level of inhaler nitrate oxide was significantly decreased after, after three months of treatment with inhaler corticosteroid. 26 parts per billion decrease, equal 17 parts per billion. And we also see significant correlations between inhaler corticosteroid dose and inhaler nitrate oxide level acute as a first and third month. In our study, the asthma control test was used to determine the level of asthma control. Uh, unfortunately, the result found to demonstrate a significant correlation between a inhaler nitrate oxide level and ACT score and daily use of sabutamol. After three months, asthma remained uncontrolled in 22% of children. And in conclusion, the level of inhaler nitrate oxide is a feasible and biological status of children with asthma. High levels of the inhaler nitrate oxide are helpful for screening asthma, subject for the possibility of the FCER2 gene mutation and inhaler corticosteroid response. Decreasing level of inhaler nitrate oxide is a good indicator for asthma control. Therefore, measuring inhaler nitrate oxide is very useful to need management of patients with asthma, especially in developing countries such as in Vietnam. Now we use inhaler nitrate oxide to help diagnose for follow-up patients to evaluate asthma treatment in my department in my hospital. Thanks for watching our research and goodbye.